describe the energy level in this kind of transitionary stuff? How do you describe the energy level this first day? Oh, it was very high. I mean, it's a lot of young players, so um, warm-up drills was like you know high speed today, which was great. Um, it's great to see the energy. Uh, obviously, that'll taper down over the next few days and really start to focus in on uh, details and actually uh, get into the, the meat of everything that we do here. How weird is it to come in here? You're wearing the same uniform and you're the same you. You've got all these new faces and some folks you've been playing with for a long time are not here. I know. Um, I mean, it's a little bit weird, but it's expected. Um, you know, change comes and it's here. And just looking around at the town, and like he said today, the energy was great. The players here, um, they want to learn, and that's the great thing about it. You see all of them kind of uh, communicating what it is that they need to go over. Um, and we're here to help. Like, that's why we're me and Sale, D Rock, and, and some of the players that have that experience are here to help uh, you know, the younger players get through whatever rut they may go through. You've always been very helpful. Do you feel like you have to be even more, more vocal now than you have been? Of course, I can't be uh, the shy girl I was in 2006. Now I really have to be more, more vocal. Obviously, continue to lead by example when I'm on the floor, um, but really pass on the knowledge that I know. Like I, when I walked in the locker room today, I was like, "Y'all nervous?" And all of them, they were all kind of nervous, but mostly about the plays. It's a lot in a few days. We have a game on third. Well, we practice against uh, Washington on Thursday and play on Friday. So they were more nervous about the plays than coming in. So I just told them, relax. Um, it's basketball. You've been playing it for a very long time. And, and here you are um, where you've always dreamed of being. How is camp, oh, how was was camp one com compared to camp 14? Uh, a lot of red hot and uh, tiger bomb. <laughs> season 14, um, you know, just just a little bit more, like I said, a little bit more talking, not as much movement and things like that. You know, that energy that they displayed, I didn't have that, but I was able to, um, you know, obviously be what they needed to. We talked to Cheryl about this season being challenging, replacing so many players from last season. But is that something that you kind of relish in, especially as a veteran player? Yeah, um, you know, it's hard to place Hall of Fame, you know, future Hall of Fame players. Um, but you, you enjoy the moment, you embrace the moment of seeing the growth and the learning process of these younger players and just seeing what we're going to become. Like today, just today, we were like, who's going to do the clap? Who's going to do this? Who's going to do that? And they, they willingly stepped up, like, I'll do it. So you can see, like, the identity of our team is starting to develop, and it's only day one, so it's good to see them kind of step up to the challenge, you know. What's it been like to add Odyssey here just kind of early on? Oh, competitive. You you could see just in the pickup over the last few days when she came in, um, you know, her being herself, it almost felt like, what was it, game four or five when Waylon took the hard foul and, it, you know, it got kind of aggressive after that. Um, that's that's what she brings to the table. You see you see her going against the guys picking up full court, and that's kind of rare to see a girl feel that confident doing things like that. But Odyssey definitely gets at it, so she raises the level of play at that point guard position. Any of these first-year players surprise you a little bit? No, I mean, it's the first day. It's the first day. <laughs> they all look good today. Everybody look good today. But you can tell, um, you know, which ones will probably be breaking out and really showing off their talent. Obviously, Nafisa is one of those players that's very, very versatile. Uh, she plays the perimeter as well as the post, and she's not afraid to go in there and bang around as well as step out. Um, you know, Shepard is really looking really good as far as being a stretch for and being able to open the floor up for her. So, you know, those are two faces is right now. But you can tell, like, um, Bell. Um, the U of M has been doing well, just her energy and her intensity. So we'll see over the next few days. You played with the same point guard for so long in Way. What's going to be the transition going from a player like Way to Danielle? Because it seems like the styles are a little bit different. Very different, very different. Um, but the game plan is the same. Uh, the system is the same. So it's just a matter of us getting our chemistry. Uh, I think she knows my game well. She's played against me for quite a few years. So she knows my bread and butter. It's just a matter of um, getting that connectedness that we've had with Way. Um, but I think she did a great job learning from Way last year. That's what a lot of people don't understand. Like Way was able to teach her a lot of things in practice that now she carries over to this season in her first year as a starting point guard. What's the relationship like with the point guard and, and building that that trust? Because it seems like that's a player that has to have a lot of trust with a lot of people. In oh yeah, you have to trust your point guard. She has the ball in her hand most of the time. She makes a lot of decisions. Just your court leader, even though people say you're the captain of the team. No, she runs the team. She's an extension of the co uh, the coach. So we have to respect whatever call she makes, whatever decision she makes, and make her look well by run executing the play the way we need to. So that's really what we want to do. Make sure that we make Danielle look great. What do you miss about Maya? What do we miss? I mean. 
competition, competitiveness, that's what she bought. I, I would always say, like, even when we was playing shooting games and start practice, it was competitive, you know. She didn't want to lose at anything. So it's, you lose that from that standpoint, but then you gain so many young players that want to compete, but you got to teach them how to compete, how to be that champion that Maya was. What about off the court? Off the court, obviously, Maya was Maya. She enjoyed having fun, eating, eating was her thing. But, um, you know, this year we got a lot of people with, with, with families that cook. Uh, Nafisa's mother cooked last night. I think Kareem's parents are coming right before the first game, so they'll cook. And my parents will be here. They always cook every year. So, um, you know, those are things that we're kind of going to carry on, um, you know, with their absence.